Good evening, Chicago. Welcome to Can TV and especially Plump Foundation. I am your host for this evening. I am Minister Robert Floyd Plump, and we have a fantastic, absolute positive guest for today. And we just like to make you welcome, welcome, welcome because you are the missing link. And happy uh, Dr. Reverend Prophet Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, birthday. You know, most people, they don't know that uh, the world's greatest uh, civil rights leader and teacher and freedom fighter uh, is uh, birthday today which this is his original birthday, and I'm so glad that I was with uh, Reverend Dr. Prophet Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, back in August the 28th, uh, 1963. And that's when we was in the original Washington, D.C., fighting for freedom and jobs and, and equality for our people. I mean the so-called American people. And it looked just like you and me and my guest is, is the lovely, uh, my sister, uh, Mama D. Love. She is a fantastic personality and uh, I'm going to let her uh, reflect on the most important person it is uh, living, which she specialized in uh, being a prophet, a messenger, and uh, Mama D has specialized in helping to save our children. You know, Baby Ray Ray and She Ray children, those are the children that uh, the Honorable Mayor Hale Washington uh, left for me. You know, I'm one of the, uh, as they say, uh, students and a student for life, uh, and thankful to God that we are here to share with you uh, Mama D. Evangelist. She has so much uh, uh, reflections of, uh, you know, uh, being an activist in the community, being an educator, and a uh, 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 positive person, uh, a journalist. And I'm going to let Mama D. kind of uh, uh, Take it from here, and and we make her welcome, and 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 you too out there in uh, Can TV land, and uh, let Mama D tell us a, a little bit more about her organization and the things that she have done. She has, she is just a fantastic personality that has promoted uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, all the way. And I'm so glad that we have built uh, a relationship in a, uh, a way that we can share Dr. King. And I know that Mama D, she has a lot to say, so we're going to let her uh, just uh, let her do her thing, as, she's, as we say, and let her uh, share with you more information concerning her. Thank you so much for being my guest, Mama D. Well, well, and yeah, shalom, and it is such an honor to Hallelujah. be here, and uh, this is my first time in this studio. Some audience uh, might remember I had rescued the children with yes, Can TV for a number of years, but it is um, always an honor and a pleasure to be around positive people and you're one of yes, the most positive well, thank you. people I know. As and well we're on you to you and <laughs> shalom uh, as we say a uh, hua, we don't die, we multiply. Uh, black power forever and Mama D is, is uh, a beautiful, as the uh, Honorable Elijah Muhammad would say, a, a beautiful uh, sister, a, a beautiful uh, uh, queen, and uh, even an empress too, and what she do. She do, does so much for us in the community until I just can't 
tell it all. So I'm going to let her tell some more about her and, and the things that she have done. Uh, I remember uh, when we was uh, in Washington, D.C., uh, Dr. King uh, uh, dream, uh, the speech, I Have a Dream, well, uh, we um, actually um, uh, hear, heard him mention Emmett Till in the uh, I Have a Dream speech. And uh, also, I would just like to mention that that's how I kind of got hooked or I got involved with uh, Chicago and Emmett Till. You remember the little 14 year old boy got killed in Money, Mississippi? And he was uh, killed uh, by some uh, white supremacists. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna let Mama D uh, share with you uh, a little bit and a whole lot more about uh, how she got it started in, in the struggle, the movement, and the coalition. Well, uh, first of all, I think we should let the audience know WAO, W A O, it simply means we are one. And that is a phrase that sort of spiritually evolved when I was a, a student at Columbia College before I graduated uh, in journalism. Um, however, August 28, 19, uh, August 28, uh, 1963, uh, is my birthday. So, uh, Hallelujah. Uh, August 28, 1963, the Emancipation March on Washington was the state of black uh, indigenous Native Black Americans' um, anniversary of a hundred years. So when uh, Dr. King said, one hundred years later, the Negro is not free. He uh, had the march on the Emancipation Dream March on Washington on August 28, 1963, and uh, August 28, 1955 was the kidnap and lynching of 14-year-old Chicago and Emmett Till. So one of our saying was, out of the uh, nightmare came the dream, let's live the vision of DuSabo, the founder of Chicago, who uh, made his transition August 28, 1818. Uh, but today is uh, very special to us uh, as, as the founding president of Global Committee Commemorating King Days, the only organization in the world that does the birth, death, and uh, dream of Prophet MLK Jr. And uh, in his I Have a Dream speech, he mentioned two people. He said, so we won't have to face the kinds of atrocities that Megar Evers and Emmett Till had to face. However, today is our 35th annual um, Humanitarian Day. When Dr. King's uh, birthday got signed into law, um, we wanted to do something that all the people could participate in, whether they had money or not. Usually, uh, Dr. King's holiday, it involves some kind of fundraiser, or some kind of spending money. But since Dr. King was very concerned with poor people, uh, I wanted to have something that everybody could participate in. So his holiday is the third Monday in January. So isn't 14 closer to 15 than 21 is? Uh, so why don't we have his birthday on the second Monday? And it would be closer to 15 than 15 is to 21. Well, that's because the third Monday is Robert E. Lee's birthday. And it's a holiday in the South. So to have that Southern compromise, it was necessary to put it on the third Monday instead of the second Monday. But that's okay, because whenever somebody gives you lemons, you can make a whole lot of things with them. <laughs> Not only lemonade, but lemon meringue pie yes. and a lot of other things. So it gave us the opportunity to focus on the principles 
uh, and uh, Global Committee Commemorating King Days does the three key principles of the American Civil Rights Renaissance of the 1960s. And we have an initiative to put those visually affirmed days on the school calendar. Previously, it was introduced as House Bill 0013, uh, and uh, we fell short by two votes. Um, people voted along party lines, and uh, our two votes uh, were in support, but they were not in the room when the vote was taken, and we fell short uh, two votes. So we are reintroducing that. To, All right. to not to amend it and make it part of black history, but to amend it and make it part of civics history. Because I believe last year or the year before, uh, in Springfield, they uh, passed a bill for civic history. So I wanted to make sure the American Civil Rights Renaissance of the 1960s, that portion of time between 1954 and 1965, that 11 years of marching, picketing, protesting, being bullied, beaten, bombed, and murdered for citizenship rights in the land of our birth that had been given to us 100 years previously under the, the uh, 15th Amendment. Uh, but anyway, what the three key principles are, January 15th, we focus on the principles of human and civil rights because black people, indigenous, native black Americans were the only people uh, to, uh, they, uh, they didn't have those human and civil rights for 246 years from uh, August 20th, 1619 to um, uh, December 18, 1865, 246 years, and then slavery, uh, as we knew it, ended. So anyway, one of the principles is human and civil rights. If we visually affirm it by wearing the color white. Now, we have all this white on, and that's I good, because it's snowing outside, and we want somebody to say to us, why do you have all that white on? And then you can get into your, your, your history. We were fighting the white supremacy practices and to overturn those Jim Crow genocide laws. And this is a day that we show respect and remembrance for all those days, for all those unsung humanitarians, regardless of their race, that fought uh, those principles. Then we have April 4th black colors, and we focus on the uh, principles of nonviolence and how we were able to use non-carnal weapons that had divine power to pull down those strongholds of segregation evils. And then we have August 28th, uh, which we wear black and white colors. Uh, for spiritual and moral principles of righteousness, justice, peace, peoplehood, and cultural coexistence, and in the spirit of way of, the spirit of we are one in humanity. So that's why we are fighting hard to get these days of respect on the um, school calendar, like wearing the color green is on the school calendar, because at the end of the day, it's about uh, unity, respect and remembrance. Hallelujah. Let's give Mama D a hand for that uh, fantastic in introduction. You know, uh, if you notice too, uh, I do have my Dr. King button on. All right. Uh, you know, we want everybody to wear the uh, Dr. King button really all through the year. Have no fear because Plump is here and we are continuing to promote peace, love, unity, marketing people. And Mama D is a fantastic uh, people's person. Let's give her a hand, everybody. <laughs> all right, all right, you know. Mama D, you can give yourself a hand, Yeah, too. I, will, I will take Praise that God. nice round of respect. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Respect is very important. You know, we, we do that with Plump Foundation. And you are welcome, uh, Chicago, uh, to call the number on the screen. Let us hear from you, Chicago. We're looking for all of the people that voted for Mayor Hale Washington, voted for Mayor Hale Washington, the world's greatest mayor. 
Yes, let's kind of straighten that up a little bit there. Yes, the world's greatest uh, mayor. Uh, and we got a movie coming out concerning Mayor Hal Washington. And we can give him a hand, too. Okay. You know, uh, this Mayor, I am featured in Mayor Harold Washington's uh, book. Oh, you uh, are? Called Harold, yes. I think I'm about, about on page nine. I'm the first person outside of him to be listed in his uh, book. But you know, uh, Harold Washington, uh, we, I took my preschool age uh, class to visit him because when they were two years old, I'm, I was a former educator at um, New Concept Development Center with Haki Matabuti. I had their first class for two-year-olds. And uh, they, when he won the primaries, they marched in and they said, we won, we won. And they were wearing their hair, Washington's buttons, so when they got to be three-year-olds, I said, well, I think we should go and uh, meet the mayor because, after all, you voted for him. And so uh, he uh, passed our, our, our proposal to proclaim April 4th as Victims of Violence Holy Day. Yes, and something else I want to uh, mention and he did. is that the, uh, got a caller? Okay, uh, caller, what's your comment or question? Hi, good evening. This is a very interesting program. I guess I'm going to tune in. I have a quick question. I see you all are all wearing white, and she did mention something about Humanitarian Day. I was wondering, could you explain more about that? I sure appreciate it. Oh, yes. Well, I let Mama D explain the white. She uh, made sure that I wear white today. We was uh, celebrating uh, earlier. Uh, at uh, Lincoln Perry uh, Apartments with Mama D, and she had everybody wearing white, and I'm going to let her uh, share that with you again. Thank you. Um, the idea of visually affirmed, everybody has rally in around days. Uh, uh, Americans rally around the 4th of July. They wear the colors red, white, and blue. Uh, Christians rally around Christmas and they have red uh, and uh, white and, and green and stuff like that in their colors. Uh, Halloween, they rally around the color and visually affirm Halloween with the uh, orange and black. So uh, when it comes to wearing the color green, it's on the school calendar. And at the end of the day, it's about Irish unity and reinforcing Irish history. We, as a people, we need uniform rallying around days to show our unity and our respect. So if we have, we've been so beaten down 246 years as a movable property thing called chattel, not cattle, sometimes people get that mixed up, but cattle is livestock, chattel is movable property. And blacks were a movable property thing for 246 years, followed by 99 more years until we got the right to vote in, in 1965. Uh, we couldn't eat food, drink water, use the toilet with other human beings. And when you do the numbers, that's 345 years out of the 400th year, 1619 to 2019, this 400 years. Uh, we've only had 55 years to not to be under uh, federal laws that said that we were inferior. And uh, blacks, not people of color, not Asians or Arabs or Indians from India, but blacks have no rights that whites are bound to respect. They are a subjugated race, not colored race, not Negro race, not Afro-American race, not African-American, but they are a subjugated race, inferior and subordinate, Hallelujah. whether we are emancipated or not. And, and what we are wearing these colors to say, stand out on the outside. Nobody is wearing white. And when they ask you about it, you can reinforce 
choice your colors. When you're wearing that color black, it's the heart of springtime. You're going to stand out, and then you can tell your story. After all, at the end of the day, black and white together is what Dr. King, Prophet King, he gave us a dream on August 28, 1963, but he gave us a prophetic vision on April 3rd, 1968. Yes, and Mama D, I'd just like for the uh, community to know that the Honorable Mayor Hale Washington, he did the legislation uh, concerning uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s uh, birthday, uh, originally become a state holiday, as well as a national holiday. And uh, I'd just like to reflect on, you know, back in the day how we kind of started. I'm going to show you all that. a few quick Can pictures. Can I ask one question? Uh, sure. Yes, go ahead, Colin. And Thank, thank you, you for calling. You very beautiful in your white hat. And, you know, how long have you been doing this? How many years? I said uh, today is our 35th uh anniversary and we're working on the initiative to get the days of respect on the school calendar when you change the well, brain sure you transform you. the behavior thank you I sure appreciate you working very hard on that because you know it took my Luga Karinga over 25 years before anybody ignored Lola's Kwanzaa and today they notice it so just like you've spent 35 years of this don't think that you're wasting time. There's a lot of people paying attention, maybe more so today than before. Well, as a worshiper, I believe I will wait all my days until my uh, change comes. Come. And it's not how long, <laughs> it's how well. Right. I'd just like to uh, add to that, uh, you know, we are located uh, every uh, uh, Sunday. We are located at the Swift Mansion location at 4500 South. Michigan from 2.30 to 4.30, and we'd like for you to be our guest, Chicago. We're going to be sharing success, breed success, and that's from 2.30 to 4.30 every Sunday at 4500 South Michigan. And you can reach me direct because we do have jobs or we have a business for you. Uh, and I can be reached at 312 671-2773. We are going to continue to uh, promote, uh, help stop the violence, robbing, stealing, and killing. And we got a parade coming up on uh, April the 15th. April the 15th, uh, 2019 is on a Monday. And we're going to be at Washington Park Field House at 1 o'clock. we all on the one together. So we'd like for you to be our guests in the parade. Uh, everyone, uh, each one teach one and help another one and spread the news if you haven't heard. The good news is if you haven't heard, Mayor Hell Washington is the word. Now this is just a reflection of how we just started back in the day. And, and reflecting, we you know, back in the day, this is a reflection of us in a beautiful way. Some of the pioneers uh, that worked with us, as well as some of the friends that worked with Dr. King, uh, kind of straighten that up a little. That's, that's uh, a reflection of Barry Gordy and Barry, Harry Balafonda and Sidney uh, Porter. And also... Uh, Dr. King himself, uh, birthday is uh, today, January the 15th, uh, 2019, and we're going to continue to promote uh, another episode. We, matter of fact, we're going to be back next week on Tuesday and uh, reflect all of the things that happened uh, with uh, the community and in, in the community for uh, a better uh, way of life that we can share uh, our opportunity to continue to promote Dr. King. So uh, education is the key to success and education forever and ever is the best and we're going to continue to teach it to the young people as well as to the old people. We need you. 
We want you, and may the good Lord bless your heart and keep in remembrance a family that prays together, stays together. And we are going to make sure that we continue in the name of Yahshua, the Lord of the worlds, who most know as Jesus Christ, to bless us, bless us all, and keep us in, in good spirit, in a righteous way that we can share more success, we success. Looking forward to seeing you next week, same time, at Can TV uh, from 7 p.m. to 7.25. So we can get rid of the jive, and I hope to see you again. And Mama D, thank you so much for being my guest. Well, I, it's my pleasure, and we'll in your shalom. We'll in your shalom. And you all have a please me plump. Uh, evening, as Les Brown say, and remember, Mayor Washington said, we must plump the whole community. And we plumping it up in peace, love, unity, marketing people. And you are the missing link, Chicago. God bless you. Real good. Real good. <laughs> Hallelujah.